Hi guys, welcome to the late night edition of Flix Take. Today's special edition with um, the first AD of uh, Delhi Crime series, Vamsi Krishna. Let's hear it from him. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. We're waiting for the main man. Yes, we'll convey. Mahindru Sahab and we have our main guy. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm good, Namrat. How are you? Good, good. So finally got the shy guy on board. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. you asked for it. So congratulations, massive win. Thank you, thank you, super, thank you. Super work, super work done. So all credit goes to Richie. <laughs> so apart he's the from the guy. Friends, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. He's the he's the guy. Richie is the guy. You are his right hand man. <laughs> well. So I've heard. <laughs> so I was coming to that, you know. So apart from your friends, uh, there are a couple of more people who told me that you're a magician on set. I'll, I'll give you the name. Yes, a magician on set. You're the first AD, the chief AD. And, uh, you know, considering that um, the entire Delhi was a set, there was no like specific stage or something set. And, uh, you know, you were controlling everything on ground zero, the commotion, the chaos, everything. So I think the, the primary question to you is how did you survive all that? You know, uh, you know the chief uh, in your third, fourth standard, you will look at those uh, magic shows where a rabbit just comes out of the hat. That's that's probably the inspiration behind being the magician. But there's <laughs> nothing as such called a magician. It's just that you got to believe in magic and whatever that magic could be. Uh, it could be, you know, finishing a day of shoot. It could be writing a script. It could be anything. But uh, at the end of the day, it is magic anyway, unless we term magic to be something different. I mean, I believe it's all magic anyway. Converting a city of Delhi into a set, it's, it is probably magic. And I think that your prep time was really minuscule. Um, how Talking about you, prep time. You didn't get any prep time. Uh, to be honest, we finished a shoot uh, with, uh, it was a very small little cute film by uh, Megha. We finished it on the, probably the end of November, 26, 27 November. And uh, the next morning, there were a bunch of similar people on the new film called Delhi Crime. And all of us had just read one episode. No, I think all of us had read just two episodes. Uh, and uh, December 6th to uh, January 7th or 8th, that was our prep time, probably 26 to 30 days in between, you know, give and take Christmas and New Year and all that thing. Uh, 26 days for eight episodes. Yeah, I mean, that was the prep time. Punishing. Uh, challenging. Challenging. That's challenging, like. but uh, again, all of us believed in magic. That's it. <laughs> you made it come true. I mean, uh, you have everything written. You have everything uh, 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 set in stone. You have everything ready for you. All you have to do is just go and shoot it. Uh, Richie has worked on it for five years. The actors have been cast. They're brilliant. Such experienced people. Uh, all you have to do is shoot. So just go ahead and shoot. That's it. You know, you guys are such a gracious and such a humble team that whoever I'm interviewing, uh, you know, from this, this, this project is just saying, I was telling Sayyipta also yesterday that even Smriti and, you know, everybody that you guys are so humble. As though you guys have rehearsed these lines as well that, you know, no, there's a... nothing to rehearse about it. It's it's clearly just that when you have a bunch of good people wanting to do good things, like and a my... good person comes, 
like minded people all i mean whatever you want to term it just a bunch of people wanting to do good things and there's one person who's come to you with something extraordinary you expected good but you've just got extraordinary what are you supposed to do you've got butterflies and uh, dragon flies and everything in your stomach together so you're just going to uh, you know spit it out and show it in your work i think all of us were hungry hungry not in terms of uh, i think none of us hardly ate on set but all of us were hungry in terms of work and in terms of good work and all of us uh, each each single per- like every single person was just wanting to do anything and everything possible to make this happen whether it was 25 days of uh, prep time whether it was you know an overnight uh, thing where you uh, make a jacket and you make a, a uniform or just yeah. create a set or convert the whole city of delhi into a set it was, it was all set. overnight yeah the, so you know you you guys just finished i mean you had finished the odds and that was like this quirky coming of age really light hearted uh, fun film and then transitioning into something so serious something so dark and so um, you know profound how was that transition for you mansi well if you honestly ask me then work is work whether it is quirky whether it is uh, you know if even if you're shooting the most funniest scenes that you've seen on films the process behind it is the same we think we're working in the creative industry we are in this whole uh, you know thing in our head that man i'm doing some creative work but the f- matter of fact is that it is the most monotonous job ever being a part of the crew of any film set is the most monotonous job but how are you going to make it interesting you 5 days before you were shooting the the funniest scene ever you were laughing your ass off and today you're shooting a scene where it's just going to it's so gut wrenching that you don't know how to react to the scene there is i don't think there needs to be a proper transition to the kind of content that you're doing you just got to focus read it adapt it and just do it yeah. content is content it is all in the director's head and the writer's head and the actor's head that this is creative for people who are making this happen it is the same process you're going through the same process of production finding a location finding this the actors are doing their job the director is doing their job we are doing our job that's it as long as one is just doing whatever it is that is expected out of those people we'll f- you're contributing f- your best that's it so there was this uh, instagram story that you had only posted and um, uh, vidant had also shared the same with me and uh, it was this india gate scene and you were like kind of trying to disperse the crowd or just trying to direct and navigate the crowd into a certain position how was that how many people were there on that at, on that well that was a big that was a big uh, fight with production and director and everything we had uh, we had to show a crowd of 20 30000 but well, that's clearly not possible we could afford a certain amount and then there were a lot of discussions about you know let's do it in vfx and this and that and all that right. the we had around 1500 uh, extras if i'm not wrong around 1200 plus Thousand. another 2 300 3000 no 1500 2000 around around 1500 to 2000 around 2000 okay. people okay. and uh, uh, had to get them at 4 am in the morning and that was one of the biggest setups in the whole series like you know all the eight episodes this particular india gate section was was i mean it was everything it was just two days of shoot and in, shooting at india gate is not a joke no oh i mean hats off to production that they got that exact lane right in front of india gate where the entire incident had happened but shooting with these 15 to uh, 1500 2000 people and creating a sense that they were let's say you know many more than that they were around 5 6000 or 7000 was purely purely uh, 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 something which required proper planning and that was just possible because the clarity with which the director and the dop function and the clarity with which you know okay listen we have just one lane we have one water tanker and we have around 100 cops what are we going to do with 2000 people and how are we going to do it right. so the whole planning of it was i still remember we were sitting we were wrecking somewhere in a uh, 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 chandni chowk for some other location and post that we were sitting in a small uh, haldiram's kind of a place and that's where richie drew out the whole thing on a tissue paper that listen this is india gate and <laughs> this is the lane i said uh, richie we can get a paper and pen no 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 this is fine it's fine he's he's that sort of a guy he was just drawing the whole thing on a tissue paper that this is india gate this is the lane we have 2000 people and we have one and a half days to shoot it how are we going to do and he did the whole breakdown for it that here i would need 400 people here i need 700 people here i need 2000 people 
or here and this is one shot which will need the whole crowd and everyone so now you have everything in place how are you going to you know make sure that this is going to happen right we we i think the whole ad team the whole production almost the whole crew reached at 334 in the morning and uh, we have, i really have to thank one person on this particular day uh, avni batra she was our uh, you know she was our moral support she was everything for the direction team uh she was there on that particular day to ensure that thing because you know we are a bunch of amateurs trying to make delhi grand happen this is honesty this is pure honesty <laughs> you guys from, are from <laughs> from producers to hods to uh, uh, you know the uh, the whole crew we were just literally bunch of amateurs coming out of this quirky little film that yes we've done something beautiful and here you are you know making sure 2000 people do this whole riot scene happen and there's a water cannon which you have to get the permission of the government to uh, right. the, the army and the government to help you get that water cannon and all that thing and you reach at 4:30 am in the morning and there's hardly anything there are people coming in there are people coming in your stomach slowly you know trying to like i don't know how it's going to happen i don't know how it's going to happen but as the day goes by you realize that all that planning that you've done on a tissue paper on those pieces of paper while you're eating chole bhature all those things come in place right now without those plannings without those things you know uh, being in place without the paperwork being in place nothing on set is going to actually function because if you see the functioning of a set each one is doing their job anyway right the costume guys are getting those people ready the you know the junior right. coordinator is getting the extras and the ads are getting right. those guys right everything is going to happen everyone is going to function the way it is every day but to ensure that all this is going to happen at a in this specific right. uh, you know uh, period of yeah. time Yes, that just requires focus and awareness. Uh, there, there were so many shots that I can tell you that it was entirely cheated because of camera. It was entirely cheated because we took someone else's perspective. That's all. That all, all those things happen as you go along the day. But uh, I think proper planning and people just wanting to do that, we have to. We, we have no other option than to do it. So I really want to ask That's you when, when you guys were sitting in Chandni Chowk and Richie was. drawing the map mapping it out on a piece of paper on a tissue paper what did you feel at that time like did you feel intimidated by this whole oh my gosh how is it going to be or you were like i mean did you yeah, i was like ab to lag gaye hamare i don't know how it's going to happen <laughs> yeah yeah because we know see the earlier the whole thing was that this whole sequence of the india gate was supposed to be done in one day yeah and then the discussion began that listen we cannot do it in one day Right. We need two days. So yeah. the only thing is, you get India Gate kind of a location on Sundays. There is no other day that you can, you know, ask for permissions for this right. particular kind of a location. Exactly. Now there is no turning back. You've written the scene, you've read the scene, and you've imagined it in your head. Right. And there are ten other people you're answerable to. That you know, each person comes to you asking, okay, where is that going to be set up? Where is this going to set up? When do you need those two thousand people? You don't have answers to all of these. Yeah, but all you can do is that yeah. listen. We're going to figure it out. We will figure it out. And every single thing on Delhi Crime or any other most of the projects gets figured as you're, you know, just getting along the day. Or the you day. have to just go with. I mean, at least I go with just this one motive of you've got to make your day. There's nothing else. Yes. You are sitting and researching for five years. You are writing it for you know with with so much intricacy in your dialogue and so many things. but all you're given is those 10 hours to shoot out of which you shoot for like probably 7 to 8 hours those 8 hours for, for you to execute this scene that's it there is no other you know it's it's like you're like one of those horses which is tied with yeah those make, make your day make your day make your day that's it there's nothing else and then of course what matters is the kind of people you have we were surrounded with a bunch I'm of extraordinarily that. human yes. beings Yes. Starting from Richie Mehta to Killian to Apurva, Pooja, Sanjay, Parinaz, and the whole AD team, every single person, and the and all of all of the HODs, they are just extraordinary people. Why am I saying extraordinary? Because firstly, Delhi Crime kind of a show, a, a show like Delhi Crime was not kind of executed in India. Yes, right. there have been big films, there have been you know uh, uh, big big budget films happening, but a series of this sort, which is so. Right. just to the point and just getting right. a, un, a okay. trying to understand the whole uh, police system and everything was probably not done right so first figuring that out yeah that listen you're not doing something different you're doing the same thing you're doing the way all your projects have been yeah first coming down to that reality and then just giving in all that you can 
and also most of the crew the kind of training they had and the kind of positions they were in their lives at while doing daily crime i think that mattered most because including me it was my one of those initial first big projects where you're first thing and yeah you just don't know how it's going to happen so you know i go back to the all the training that i've had yeah uh, all of us go back to the training that we've had and yeah. that's what is going to help you the application uh, all the application of uh, all that training come together on one single day how are you going to do it and every single day of your life for the next 60 odd days how it's going to happen it just happens you just have to I because know, all I of us were willing to be learning learning yes that's that's the key i think to learn you know to really every morning on set my brain is empty like i don't know i am i am an intern i don't know anything i like this a is, you know clean slate yeah clean slate because uh everyone knows the job yeah everyone knows what to be done uh, what is to be done or what is expected of you but then right. if you keep doing that every day it's going to get monotonous so how are you going to treat every single day as the first day of your life on set that is with with of course the knowledge you've got for me till date it's still the same like every morning i go uh, you're just paranoid about a lot of things but then as you start rolling as you give the clap you just yeah. okay it's going to happen quiet please <laughs> quiet please clearly nobody was quiet in delhi <laughs> <laughs> nobody i don't know how how are you supposed to make a city quiet i don't know i've never learned that a city like delhi where it's just crazy it's again again uh, lalit was our on on set recorder sound recordist right. he was getting into the boots of cars he was getting into you know he was rejecting cars that this car is a small boot i can't get into it so you know that kind of thing that a sound designer or sound recordist is going to help you out right. that uh, in spite of all the because all our uh, locations we had around 85 locations including yeah. the small small bits right. all these 85 locations were live locations it's not like you're in a mehboob studio in bombay yeah. that everyone's going to stay quiet yeah. neither can the sync security help you nor can you know anyone help you with that you're on live locations how does the sound recordist i don't know record those things and still make sure that the sound is right Correct. and i think he did a fabulous job it was unbelievable and also it was like an international production so to say like you know there's so many different uh, you know countries involved like uh, australia canada india and of course the initial part was in london so everything just kind of came together in in india everything with- came together in delhi so <laughs> we were all i mean most of us were familiar with delhi and in spite of anyone being from canada australia uh, london it, that was all till the part of the you know till till richie had the script bound script in place post that it was all 65 days plus your prep days in delhi and beyond the shoot whatever happened was again across the globe so i i think you know understanding certain things that are uh, a part of delhi like for example there is this whole thing of jugad in india and which is which is uh, the word jugad is you know uh, delhi owns that word Uh, it 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 does not belong to australia it does not belong to london it does not belong to canada yeah, yeah. the word jugad belongs to delhi but to try and explain people that listen you know there is no water cannon but it will be there in the next 15 minutes yeah. you are those 50 those 14 minutes till the time it has not arrived you are just hoping that kuch to ho jayega something or the other is going to get figured out and all you are doing is just praying that it happens yeah so i don't know how jugad functions but i think that's how it i mean so you, you have to own it I'll tell you a little secret uh, about. I'm sure, I'm sure Pooja is going to kill me that I'm sharing it on social media. So she was known as Jugad. Why? Yeah. Because ये नहीं हो सकता. This is an impossible thing. But the next day or that you know after a few hours it would be done. And we're like, yeah. how did you manage to do that? And she's like, whatever. Like you know. I I mean I, until recently we hadn't informed Richie about it that every I think post or uh, ten days of shoot the initial ten days of shoot. we had three versions of call sheets almost on most days my second day is just making call sheets the whole day <laughs> why because we don't know what we're going to shoot tomorrow we had the schedule in place we have everything in place but even the smallest thing yes. that alters like let's say for example we had to shoot on a live police station but the live police station has a lot of uh, you know the cells are filled up because there are actually real prisoners there Yeah. So now you don't have that look. You don't have that cell to shoot for tomorrow. Right. And it's right. not like we're creating a set of the cell. We are shooting in the live cell. Live. There was. Right. I had. This is the most funniest thing which has happened. You know, the only fun part about the telecrime was 
the costume design or the art decor of any space was so real that there were real cops traveling through the highway and there are the costume assistants and the makeup guys coming and telling you listen bhaiya aapne ye topi aise kyun lagaya hua hai ab thoda seedha karo usko you know set your aapke headlights kyun on hai my third aid is going and telling those uh, uh, the 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 real cops petrol yeah. vans that your headlights need to be off because the dop wants it off and he's like what what are you what talking are you about? about and then we realize that they are they are our extras and they're not the you know they are they are the real cops and not our extras oh, that, God. that was hilarious we were shooting inside the cell where you know jaising and the other culprits yeah. are inside the cell and the uh, there's another officer who's just trying to meddle with them the the cell right next to it the light boys go and they they just finishing the lighting there and that has the real prisoner inside the cell door is open and we are like what is happening because everything looks so real the, so the guy looks like a it was all open it, for you guys to kind it, of it, uh, no no we we had a live functioning police station and we shot it there and the, the it was functioning the got, the daily activities of police we had to permissions to shoot okay. of course that doesn't mean we stopped the work of the police station i mean we yeah. were totally blessed for us to not yeah. create a set and have the real police station to wow. shoot uh, yeah, a lot of the sound design you know which has telephone calls and someone yelling uh, at the background and everything was the real sound yeah. which was happening on the station so it, it was it was the most ironic thing it was funny and but we've got to do it <laughs> there's no other option fantastic absolutely and you were also you played a small part of the journalist in the bus i had i that was see i'll tell you we that was the the journalist or what uh, that that section which was shot prithi ko bhi journalist <laughs> yeah yeah because richie had i mean see i chose that role myself Achha. initially when we were prepping in december right. but when we shot it it was almost the last few days of shoot okay. and like you know it's out of your head that you were in right. a mood in december and you're shooting right. this in march yeah. so it was out of my head that i'm going to do it but the reason i uh, wanted to do that was because that's the only funniest part in the whole series there it, it, it was re- clearly written that this guy over exaggerates and says the way a lot of channels do lot of and things, yeah. it, it has to sound funny so i said listen the whole series is so dark and so this thing this is the only funniest part and i'm going to do it but while we shot it in march uh trust me richie did not give me another take there's so many, there's a lot of fumbling in that he said just one take and just let's do it and i had not, i don't know what to do i just said and i i didn't know what to say who the cameraman was and i said mukesh chabra there and i was just like <laughs> okay i mean it's an it's an ode to mukesh chabra why not he is a great guy yeah i know actually he was so stunned <laughs> yeah and richie richie was laughing over it he's like Good, good. That's what I wanted, and he kept that. He kept that word. I said, like Mukesh is going to come tomorrow and just whack me. Please don't. Please delete that. He said, no, no, no. It's great. Super. So, um, uh, so it was three months that you guys were in Delhi, right? For the shoot. December, Jan, Feb, and early Ma- uh, March. No, no. We finished the end of March. Early April, we finished. So Holi was there. Yes. Holi was entirely there. Are you in Delhi. I mean, are you like a Delhi? I was born in Delhi, and my college was back in Delhi. Okay. But Which... uh, Shriram College of Commerce, SRCC. SRCC. I was in uh, Mandi House, uh, Lady Oven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so coming back to Holi, how was Holi with the crew? Holi was great. Holi. Holi was like any Holi, but the best thing was uh, what we did after Holi, the next day of shoot. was uh, i mean i don't know if i should share this or not but i will anyway the next day of holi was uh, the first time jay singh comes to the police station and he's getting interrogated by uh, vartika and uh, rajesh which was one of the scenes where now this is the first time the language of the film changes it's episode 2 and you know the everything goes like everything is going to figure get figured out in episode 2 and all that yeah. it was one of those very important scenes of the series and uh, johan uh, the whole camera team the the whole director team all of us had a holy celebration the previous day which was beautiful which was wonderful and coming back to this thing where johan had something in mind which was like i'm going to dim all lights down i'm going to you know just center jay singh and just make sure that he is the only source of light and everything right. it didn't end up that way because johan was scared about the fact that listen because holy party was holy party and to get out of those things right you, you i think he probably came out with a new perspective new which perspective. in a way helped uh, Help. the whole series 
if you right. notice that the particular sequence in episode 2 that's the only scene where the police station is yeah. lit up yeah and that was entirely opposite of what he intended to do he intended but in the end it just worked so like how you said no as we got along we we kind of improvised and i mean the entire team improvised and learned each and every day how to do things uh, in the best possible way also that but uh, i think the most important thing which we kind of figured on set was adaptability yeah we had to understand and adapt as we go along there is there is a richie meta working in this you know steadfast way he's like his brain is sorted till the end day of shoot he knows what's going to happen because he's been with the material for like a, a, a enough time we wow. were there for 25 days and to catch up to what richie knows Right. is something that all of us had to face as a challenge but right. we did it because listen guys you have no other option you have to do it yeah. so when you tell that to yourself there is no other uh, way that uh, you can come out of this whole thing that you know i'm going to sit today think and my mind is going to think and my mood is going to happen that there's no time for all this right. and it, it i always believe that it trickles top bottom like you know yeah. the, if your director if your producers everyone just sorted and they just know that this is the only solution there is no other solution to this then you have no other option than to just do it and do it in a way that it doesn't hurt everyone and it satisfies all those things that is needed for a particular scene we bring into reality a lot of scenes which are just in the heads of people yeah how you do it is just by knowing and being aware of what is available and what can be done right and i don't know it just happened you made friends i mean like and all of us were I'm great boss you guys made friends but like you know the friendships bonds or most of us are still working my entire ad team like this was the first time i had wo- been working apart from parinas parinas and i have been working since our very first project as interns and most of our projects have been together uh she is one person who handled richie in a way that i don't think anyone else could why because to i'm, I'm not saying handling richie handling richie hasn't to be available for richie for anything and everything and that that only parinas could do so i was very happy for the fact that this was taken care of yeah. all you have to do is make sure the shoot happens which is not a big thing which can just happen because yeah. everyone's doing their jobs it's it's like you know when you when you realize that in uh, in your school there is a principal who ensures that the school functions till you know 7 am till 2 am that's what you have to do how much ever you hated the principal yeah. you've got to be that now so yeah. it it's that kind of a feeling friends of course all of us are great friends like smriti mandar animesh ajitesh harsh aprajita every name every single tarik the the p or uh, like man uh, johan lakhan all of us we i mean we we just finished a film and most of them have been you know just jumped into another film so it was like a continuation for us yeah. uh, uh, apurva i mean i also believe it's because the producers just put in faith we know this we know we bought this we bought these guys together now you do whatever you want to karlo ab ha jo karna karlo ab yahi hai so we are also like ha yahi hai to abhi bas yahi karenge and it was great like i don't I'm, know come out of that film to this film i'm seeing all the comments wow. everybody is just loving you i mean they love you i have to tell you this they are just love we love you go so and everybody i mean it's just i'm just reading the comments as as you are like speaking and everybody is just like because they are all good human beings when when there are good human beings you there you know love is a very uh, love is a term which is beyond just physical love it's it's Absolutely. just liking those human it's, beings it's just, it's and deep. and you know when, I, when we started off this conversation it was about having those bunch of people so it's always about finding those bunch of people everywhere we're not saying that okay listen this bunch of people is like you know that's not our uh, motive ki this bunch of people is the best ever of course there are 100 other people 100 other kinds of groups and 100 other kinds of uh, functioning of people yeah. everywhere or if you go if you go as an individual to any project that you are you know taking up what is it that you bring in not yeah. in terms of work of course the, the reason they have hired you is because the kind of work you do and you know uh, the okay. kind of knowledge you have yeah, yeah that is yeah. that apart the kind of human being that you are yeah. if you are always a solution driven person you will find those people everywhere wow so well said uh, solution driven person because yeah so because 
there are scenes which are written like let's say the india gate scene happened and all of us have seen news articles everyone's every, each department is doing their research on you know how this actually happened the placards were exactly the same placards which were you know mandar and make sure made sure that the production designer made sure that the kind of placards which you know even the color of those things which were written were the same same smriti ensured that the kind of costumes that those you know, narebazi kind of people wore were the same now uh-huh. everyone's done their research you've right. got those people you've got college students you've got everyone but now how are you going to make sure that this happens in that particular time right and that happens because that that just happens because yaar yahi karna hai and we have to get that sorted if 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 an if even a single individual is on a different track that yeah. i don't know man you figure it out i mean it's your job or something then then you will understand that as you go along you know you, you as the day progresses you will know that this is not happening yeah. like as it is what you can best do is make sure that the background action is right right like, right like there are a bunch of ads uh, the director wants this main actor to walk across this thing and yeah. you have to make sure that your background is designed now yeah. you can't design background till the time uh, there is like there's got to be adaptability you know right. for you to give that much amount of time to make sure that that extra has understood what he's supposed mm-hmm. to do by the time half the day is over mm-hmm. so how do you make sure that all those things fall in place maximum while the shot is happening you just you know listen listen usko wahan se bhej usko yahan se bhej all those kind of things right. and that's purely purely because the kind of uh, people i've looked up to and kind of people i've learned from uh, uh-huh. if that wasn't there i don't think you know this sensibility comes into it comes into one person and then it trickles down into the whole team yeah yeah and we in the first uh, that's what i ensure in the first 5 7 days of shoot make sure that the vibe of the whole set or the vibe of this whole team right. is set right right you don't have to yell you know richie on the other day on zoom call had so well said that uh whatever the kind of pressure your person is facing there is no need for anyone to you know uh show down the other person or yell at other person for anything right. yes you, you it's part of your job you get paid to yell at other people but not at the cost of self respect or you know showing them that you know they don't know how to do it one up yeah you always got to just make sure if you know it then do it simple i think uh, that drove each other into a single direction you know it was totally. just like in in one single focus and one single drive each one was so individually motivated and driven that it just kind of propelled it in the best possible and, and that's not that's not because just because this was delhi crime and that content yeah. was so good of course yeah. that's there that's given as as crew members that's not i mean that is an important part of you know who you're working with and what you're working on what you're trying to say that is one thing but we are all crew members we are yeah. making sure that whatever the vision that you've signed up for and what this person is trying to say is executed that could be delhi crime that could be what are the odds that could be any film and your job is to make sure that this happens whether it's quirky whether it is you know uh, cut fetching so dark uh, this thing you that is that is not something that you think of every day that's the director's job that's the writer's job that's the producer's job what you've got to ensure is that listen this particular you know break it down the reason we call those things breakdowns apart from those mental breakdowns that we have is the fact that you've broken down those things into days and into hours and into each scenes yeah that's your job do it do it right simple did anything rile you up did you have any kind of did you have any breakdowns Well, not uh, I've witnessed a lot of breakdowns. I've, uh, I mean, this India Gate shoot was one of those Achha. biggest Achha. things where there was there was uh, uh, Johan shooting it on the camera, and there was a stunt sequence with fire and everything happening. You know, so there was like everything was taken care of. All those stunt things and all those precautions, precautionary measures, everything was taken care of. Right. The wind just suddenly blew this way towards the camera. So the fire which was burning. like you are at a distance everything is taken yeah. care of but yeah. the wind just suddenly blew here so the fire is just the heat from the fire is just blowing onto yohan's legs so oh. that was a moment where like listen you've taken care of everything made sure that everything was taken care of but again <laughs> force of yeah. nature you couldn't help it and his you know like his legs got a little burnt and all that but again we took care of those things yeah but those are moments you can't uh, i mean you can't break down because are yaar ye ho gaya we've got to stop predict- Yeah, unforeseen. Uh, those are things which just have to. Okay, that's happened. So now let's move on. We have three hours left, and so we what, have ten more shots to do. Was he okay? Like I mean. Yeah, yeah, he, he was fine. Okay. Johan's was uh, Johan's a mad guy. 
and why i say mad is because mad, the word mad is beyond being crazy and being whatever he just not a single shot in the whole eight episodes uh involved any kind of equipment apart from the camera and the shoulder pad the whole series has been shot on his shoulder a lot of people think that it had a steady cam it had a tripod there was not a single static shot all the shots of the film apart from i think two sunrise sunset shots which i actually took a photo of where we were at the terrace of something and uh, you know we were at the terrace of our own hotel building and we had to shoot a sunrise sunset madhuban hotel we have to thank that hotel though they have real good french fries even 4 am in the morning <laughs> that's why it was chosen that no no that wasn't the reason it was chosen it was chosen because that was the only available hotel <laughs> ask me about it but it's okay it was a very beautiful uh, hotel but uh, there was just two or three shots which were on a steady uh, which was on a tripod so right. you know yohan's like i need a tripod and all of us are just looking at each other tripod it's been ages that we've heard the word heard the word and yeah. the way he did all those single shots you know when you went for a tech recce when we this bunch of people went for a tech recce we are just figuring and you know the first thing that you've learned in life is okay what where are we looking at what is our angle you know you've got to write in permissions and okay. government places you have to tell them that we are just looking here and we are just using this room uh richie and johan go like yeah yeah this is good this is good yeah so the whole room so the, and you know and they walk away they walk away with their for the next location because okay. on our one day of tech recce had six locations Right. it's not like we're doing one location and we had seven days to show you know do uh-huh. our tech recce we had like just four or five days to do our tech recce and every single place we go to we like yeah we're looking everywhere you ask johan where you know is there any spot that we're not looking that i can set up yeah. the whole you know the base and all those yeah, yeah we'll figure it out that day so literally all the locations that we've been through because the camera is on his shoulder and because the show is you know got that perspective and it's just you know i don't know whatever those creative things are yeah. Yeah. Every place we go to, we just you cannot lock down anything, yeah. and you'll have to figure out the lockdown on that particular day. There was this particular scene of uh, the, when Jay Singh gets caught for the first time. You know, yeah. he's coming through a bus, and yeah. that's the whole road. That's a live location in Delhi, in the middle of South Delhi. Uh, we are inside did, the car, looking out. Didn't people crowd? Uh, did they crowd around? Uh, they did. We 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 just hid it well. and you know a location like that you can, you will not know like each take has a different you know you're looking at different things yeah because the way actor performs is the way the camera is going to move mm-hmm. and it's not like it's designed that way it gets designed as we go along as we finish the rehearsal is when we design the shot so you, hello guys just be open for anything and everything wherever you guys are peeping out from just hide <laughs> wow wonderful uh, What do you think about the Emmys? Are you got to say something about that? Congratulations to all of us, I guess. <laughs> because for us, Delhi crime journey is you know it's 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 not like it's over because the Emmys you know we've won at the yeah. Emmys. Emmys was a it's it's like your additional you know the magician took out another rabbit from the hat. All those things are over, and then he just took out another thing. So Emmys is like one of those additional icing on the cake kind of thing, but. I- the day we wrapped uh, delhi crime was something when i mean i can never forget that day but that particular day a lot of people had this kind of a realization that you you know what you've shot and richi had actually you know we were all standing there and richi had promised us that i will take this to places and i will make sure that this is satisfying enough for all of your hard work and he made it happen of course with a lot of other people behind richie but uh, there's one guy who's always the leader and he is the leader i saw your post yes he's the man the man behind the man he is the man the man he is the man there is no <laughs> other you know you can, i don't know if there are words beyond it i am not aware of it how lovely how nice i mean you guys made it possible for him i mean for all of us actually it it really is something that you know how it is any species said let's not forget Let's really not forget yeah. why we made this in the first place, and I think this really put the icing on the cake. And you know, uh, so I, I was sharing this with a lot of people that uh, the the incident happened in two thousand twelve, and two thousand thirteen. I traveled to the U.S. for you know the, a, a trip, and uh, a cab driver in Vegas. He knew about this incident, and he hmm. was so moved by it, and he was so angry, you know, with 
with the indian media for having shared this news worldwide that why are you guys doing this because it's something that's you know really perplexing us that how did it happen not that things don't happen over there also but it became such a global issue that probably now is really redeemed you know the entire force and um, you know this and of course with the judgment coming this year also yeah. it, that probably is your award you know that is your award you know before the emmys i mean there is a reason why also delhi crime has won a particular award under the you know category of best drama series what we intend i mean i cannot speak for what richie you know uh, started off writing this and why he started off writing this and why this particular topic the way it was uh, fictionalized into a drama series is what i think you know all of us can talk about because we are talking about hope you know as i think one of those interviews we had always uh, most of them have always mentioned that the series at the end also has this entire theme of hope whether or not we have the theme uh, running through the series this uh, incident has been dramatized so well the the incident as in uh, by incident i mean the whole journey of the the the, the, yeah. the police force yeah has been dramatized so well that not a single shot of the incident was there which you cannot also talk about or show about it's something which all of us connect to so personally in many different ways and that kept aside the kind of justice that each one of us could do with the given content Yeah. With the given limitations and with that sensitivity and with that you know sensibility, in fact, is something uh, we were close to. We were we were kind of close to achieving that through the entire process of uh, Delhi Crime. Uh, I mean, we were shooting at places where I mean I don't know how to tell this, but you know when when the 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 place where the opening scene where they are thrown and the kind of the the road yeah. which we yeah. shot in was the same road yeah. which actually the incident happened. We shot yeah. it. uh it was a night shift where we shot it approximately at the same time 1023 so all those kind of things are something which you don't know how to digest but then now you have a 12 hour you know you come down to work now you have a 12 hour shift you have a content you have to do it there you know, a lot of times you might get carried away by so many other factors and every film will have a different uh, uh kind of thing to offer Back. even yeah. if it's the quirky kind of thing or if it's the dark kind of thing every kind of film will have a certain kind of memory like i remember we were shooting odds uh, for mega and mega uh, chose to shoot in that same uh, forest where she grew up you know she used to spend her time there and i would say like okay it's such a beautiful scene to shoot there but you know she would go back her memory lane right yeah for her it's a thing but at that particular day we cannot go back to all those kind of things we have to just finish those sh- scenes and then Rejoice those moments of arey what a beautiful forest. Similarly, like how you have a beautiful forest where you have this Casper kind of uh, you know a ghost kind of a feeling, which is actually really good. You have these kind of locations as well, which the incident happened here. You're supposed to shoot here. You put there. As crew members, you are not allowed. I don't believe that we are allowed or we are supposed to take that into our head and to you know while we are doing the work because work is work. All those things happen. You're doing this. You signed up for this. Go ahead and do it. you can't uh, have your breakdowns at that time go back to your room and have it it'll probably work but not at the expense of work not at those 12 hours not those days of set so let's share one more thing with you so you know you remember that party scene at uh, uh, the movie yeah, on yeah you were there you remember I, of <laughs> you course you directed me <laughs> that was we we had we didn't have budgets to get these beautiful looking people <laughs> we called in everyone we could Nishreen, uh, Megha, Apurva, we are just calling. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Acha, come off to. Th- I I know a lot of people on this uh, chat right now who were there at that party. Yeah. Because you're just calling all your friends, and that's how you created that scene. And that was my first time on a set. And. Uh, yeah, and I was yelling, and that was my worst day of shoot because we didn't finish the day. I'll tell you after, but when I when we meet, or you know, if ever we kind of you know speak on the phone, or when we meet, the exact. thing because i i think it is too long for me to share but i can never forget um and apurva call and she saying what are you doing this day and you know just come and there's a party scene i'm like oh, oh my god i'm going to be in a movie and all and, and it turned out to be like such a i mean not a disaster yeah. but it, it was, was such a beautiful when you look at it in the film it's such a it's one of those most beautiful scenes with such one all those people you know who you know live in khar bandra and andheri all of those people's <laughs> house who you go to party they are in that particular scene I and know. 
like nishin's friends are there my friends are there megha's friends are there apurva's friends are there and all of them know each other because they were in that particular scene yeah. that's the most hilarious part it was fun it was too much fun yeah and we call it you know just go by the road and just go casting we <laughs> did it on our first film with nishin also in there was a party scene we just went on the road we went to a party on a friday night we found those uh, wonderful looking people and then we just like call them up we were like can you come to a shoot day after tomorrow we're just shooting in this beautiful house and everything. they came we had 30 people joining us on that party and that scene looks wonderful which a lot of extras cannot give you but these yeah. live human beings yeah. partying somewhere just came along and now the thing is when you get back when you get down to work you have to make sure those those 30 people that you have promised come in because if yeah. they don't it's up it's on your head it's on you, your you head you can't you can't say you you have to find those 30 at the end of the day you find those 30 lo- interesting looking people that's it whether you found them in the party whether you know them through work that is none of the directors or you know the producers of business you got 30 people make sure that they are there that's it more, more often than not you do that you know you kind of do deliver you know Um, yeah these are these are kind of things we take up on our head and then the moment we take up we realize damn it why did i do it why did i say yes to it but then uh, it happens Great. that is the creative part of it right okay creative. i i will make sure that this happens abhi abhi bhuk to karo ha karo one more thing vamsi before we leave um so i saw that you know you are a great fan of poetry and uh, gulzar sahab no i just enjoy i mean gulzar sahab is gulzar sahab but uh, i try to write so there is this there is this line that you really like and uh, you've mentioned that on one of your posts and if you could share you've that you've been stalking me <laughs> i've been stalking you yes yes <laughs> good <laughs> no but because even i uh, and you know really found it very very um, kind of uh, interesting because i myself am a fan of gulzar sahab you know his his poetry is so deep and so um, i would say it kind of pulls out the emotions from the depths of your life so i think i really connected with that through your you know your posts and i was like oh my god this is something that i have to ask you which is your favorite composition of his one of the favorite i'm i i know you can't kind of single out one but wow uh this is a very this is like among all these questions i think this is the most difficult question that you've asked the answer choosing is there... a favorite the choosing the favorite gulzar sahab lines uh you know that 100 saal wala ek din the that's that's one among the favorite i think beyond that there's also this line from uh, kamine humne to gilhari ke jhoote mathar mathar bhi khaye the i think those there are those two lines in uh, the the film kamine i think those two lines and and uh, yeah. was dil to dil to bachcha hai was that also yeah. yes of course it was gulzar sahab and it's also for, for, i mean i i really बट दिस गिल आई टेल यू द रीजन आई कनेक्ट टू दिस मोर दिस लाइन हमने तो गिलहरी के झूठे मटर खाए थे वॉज रिसेंटली लास्ट ईयर वन आई वॉज शूटिंग फॉर फिल्म इन श्रीलंका देर वॉज दिस पर्सन शोमा हु वॉज ऑन दैट फिल्म आई थिंक शी वॉज देर विथ मी एंड शी शी इज नोज विशाल जी एंड गुलजार साहब क्वाइट वेल एंड शी इज ऑल्सो एन आर्डेंट फैन ऑफ गुलजार साहब वी वर वी फिनिश द नाइट शूट एंड वी सिटिंग इन द मॉर्निंग जस्ट यू नो सिटिंग बाई द बीच एंड वी वर जस्ट चिलिंग फॉर अ वाइल एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ स्क्रिल्स केम बाय देर and there yeah. was some chana kind of mutter kind of thing it wasn't exactly mutter but it was something like chana and mutter yeah. and yeah. that was the moment when i actually noticed the squirrel you know chabawing a, a mutter and a, this thing and that yeah. line just hit so hard humne to gilhari ke jhoote mutter like how can a like i'm sure gulzar sahab oh, also would have absolutely. gone through the same experience of watching a uh, squirrel yeah. uh, eat a mutter so humne to gilhari ke jhoote mutter khaye the was something which stuck to my heart like this line is just beyond something so and i think that line sense of observation that you know you observe yeah. something so which could be missed like so something so insignificant and you know make too much meaning out of it wonderful that that particular line and of course gulzar sahab is matlab I, i mean i will cry the day i look at him and i will oh. meet him but he is beyond something is wow. beyond, i mean right now i can't think of so many lines but of course that man is, is just amazing. amazing how does he think and how does he write and how does he 
ऑब्जर्व लाइक गिलहरी के झूठे मटर समवन हैज टू ऑब्जर्व इट इन हिज लाइफ only yes. then can he he or she write it you know there is no other way someone can yeah, notice yeah. this and write this up and compose this in a way that it becomes a song which is just in your head batao really thank you so much ramsi thank you for joining it so it thank wasn't you. thank you namrata it wasn't that bad no yeah i mean i <laughs> never had such chats about any kind of journey or anything because for us it's just work keep working move ahead keep working move ahead of course you should in yeah. retrospect you know look at your work but thank you very much and thank i would so really really on this so called social media platform thank all the cast and crew of delhi crime yes. my ad team which was fabulous wow. from parinaz to ajitesh animesh aprajita harsh yeah. everyone uh, uh, apurva and pooja for believing in us they believed in a lot of mad people i don't know how i think they are they are also a little mad which is they are little you know i'm fine by i'm really okay by saying this thing they uh, sanjay bachani apurva pooja have got something which is twisted which is great which works which works fantastically for a lot of people they just have this belief you know certain people have blind faith like you love a person you have this blind faith that i love this person they have this blind faith on crew which i don't know how it happens but it just works and to believe that they had on us is the reason we are here chatting simple as simple as that she only said that bamsi is a magician and you know she she's so happy that you came on and we all are of course happy that you know you did this and came out of your you know this this zone no, i'm not going to do it but uh, <laughs> thank you so much and all your friends also thank you so much guys for joining and they love you and he loves you too i'm sure he's going to say that love love to everyone spread thank love you. thank spread you good and good vibes hope to hope to see your future projects also yes inshallah sure thank you thank you amrita thank you for having us thank you bye bye bye